Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about some of the apps I use on my phone for productivity and um, reducing my social media use. So I won't really be going through every app on my phone, even though you can probably see it. I will be focusing on apps that reduce the amount of time I spend doom scrolling. And so I hope you find this video helpful in finding new apps to better your own screen time and screen usage. And let's get started. The first app I have on my first page is screen time. And this is used to make sure I don't use my phone for too much in general and set time limits for certain apps like TikTok. And the one next to it, I have my camera, which I use to film content occasionally, mostly for TikTok and Instagram Reels. The next one is Google Calendar, and this is where I used to plan all my stuff for work and for school. And obviously I blurred out most of it. Um, the next app is Emo, and this is a very cute mood tracker app. It's free, completely free for using. I, I like that you can customize your own um, emotions, and I have done that to a couple of them, as you can see. I like seeing the entire month. And they also have a very cute widget, which I like to display on my home screen. Another app I've been using quite often is Pinterest, which I'm sure a lot of you know what it is. Um, so I've just been using it to make yearly mood boards. I think I'll make a fall mood, bo mood board on it as well, but it's just pretty fun for to use. And also, uh, I keep some of my build ideas for Animal Crossing on here as well. Another app I use pretty much every day has been my notes app and this is just for jotting down random stuff that comes across. I also use Google Maps to bookmark a lot of places I want to go, especially for trip planning, it's very helpful. Outlook I use for all my school emails. I use Widgetsmith with images I just find on Pinterest and stuff to create these widgets just for decorating my home screen. And by the way, for these icons, I'll link them below. But basically, I found them on Instagram and changed them using shortcuts. Next, I have the New York Times app, which I have a subscription as part of my school that offers it for free. And I use it to um, read some current events, or usually I listen to it on my commutes to school. Um, but I also read some opinion articles as well. And another, speaking of opinion articles, I also have Substack, which I mostly follow a couple Substacks only. I'm also trying to looking for more Substacks, so if you guys have any recommendations, I would love to know. The next app I wanted to talk about is called Todai Japanese, who are kindly sponsoring this portion of the video. And it's a pretty cool app. It has daily news articles and lessons structured for you to vo learn vocabulary while reading the current events and it's a pretty fun way for me to build my Japanese vocabulary and also work on my reading comprehension a little bit. I am a bit slower at reading especially in terms of um, knowing new, knowing a lot of kanji. Um, so this app has been helping with that because the news articles are in various different levels and they're generally pretty short. Not only are the articles have an option of being read to you, but you can also click on any vocabulary within the article and it'll automatically translate it and give you the option of adding it to your vocabulary notebook within the app, which is very useful for tracking and putting new vocabulary, which then I put into Anki for later studying. The app also has a good bank of JLPT test questions that you can practice with in terms of vocab, grammar, and listening sections. The app also has some short videos from which you can listen and learn vocabulary in that way. Thanks again to Todai Japanese for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'll link the app down below if you guys want to try it out and check it out for yourself. I also have Netflix on my phone, but I guess I don't really use it much. Mostly watch it on my iPad or like bigger screens, but I've been watching a lot of Sex in the City as well as Hospital Playlists recently. I also wanted to talk about Headspace, which I've been using recently. I'm kind of new to it, but um, it's been nice to kind of just listen to 
a short session when I wake up in the morning sometimes just to set a good mood for the rest of the day. I'm still exploring the app but I like how they have a bunch of different sessions with kind of different goals. And of course I also have the Notion app which I've talked about a lot on this channel so I'm not really going to go over it that much because I still use a lot of the pages that I created in other videos. So, but I just use it to make to-do lists, keep track of assignments, and take most of my notes for school. In terms of health apps, I also really like this app called Sleepy Time. It's a very simple app, but basically it just tells you what time to sleep or what time to wake up based on your sleep cycle. And it honestly works pretty well for me. I think everyone's sleep cycle is a little bit different, but it's pretty good for general use and especially if you're um, trying to get in the habit of setting up a better sleep schedule for yourself, I think it's a good way to start. Also, if you're wondering why some of these apps don't have like the cute icons, it's either that I got too lazy or some of the apps just didn't have like a matching icon. Um, I also use the New York Times games app just to play the daily wordle or recently I've been playing the mini a lot as well for the most part I think I just play the mini these days um, it's fun and I get to compete against some of my friends that also play it another app I've been liking is Letterbox, which I've been using to track the movies that I watch basically Similar to Goodreads in my opinion, but just for movies and the thing that makes Letterbox fun for me is other people's reviews. Especially for bad movies, I think the reviews are really fun to read and I just like the process of collecting and making lists of movies too. I also have a app called Focus Pomo, which is basically this really cute, pretty simple Pomodoro app just to get me to stop using my phone while I study and also just track study time. Another app I have is Libby, which I've talked about in a previous What's On My iPhone video, but it's basically just an app where you can connect to your local public library and check out books. And recently I've been using it to read The New Yorker, which I don't have a subscription to at the moment, but I'm that is my goal to eventually have one. And I really like The New Yorker articles and pieces that they put out. I think they're very interesting and very well curated and it's also a good way for me to read long-form non-fiction articles because for books I think I gravitate towards fiction um, but I'm trying to increase the amount of non-fiction that I read in general as I get older. And at the bottom of my phone I have the apps that I use quite often. Um, so that was pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I did I want to show some of the artists I'm currently listening to on Spotify. I really like Liang Lawrence's. I don't know how to pronounce her first name. I think it's Liang Lawrence. I haven't made any playlists too recently because I've just been listening to my liked songs. But here are some of the songs that I've been liking recently. But I do have my Spotify linked below if you want to follow me and follow my playlists. For when I do eventually make more. And that's about it for what's on my phone, so I think this is just me quickly showing the back side of my phone. Uh, the case is a clear case from ESR, I think through Amazon, and then this phone charm is something that I got from Timu, and it's supposed to be inspired by the Kimi ni Todoke uh, anime, and the phone charm is pretty cute, but honestly if you get tired of it dangling you can also attach it to the magnet so it's not like super in the way and so that's pretty much the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around to the end and i hope you guys found something useful and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye